Salutations, friends. Said Stevie here. And got some more knives in from Blade Ops. So, uh, let's check them out. Um, unboxing knife uh, is going to be the Devo Knives Growler. I'm wrapping up my time that I've been spending with this, and I gotta say, it's it's great. It's great. Every time I do this, I wish I had some jimping right there. Other than that, uh, this thing is pretty, pretty gnarly. Uh, really good slicer. This thing definitely needs to be uh, tuned up. It's been passed around for a while. Uh, 14C28N on the uh, blade steel. But, uh, yeah. Anywho, uh, back to the task at hand. Uh, if I could uh, get this in here just a little bit better. All right. Um, so, let's open up the box here. I'm just going to... Um, Slice into the jeez. What's going on? This is a thick box. Oh man, did I just slice into it? No, I didn't. Okay. Um, so like I mentioned, uh these come from uh Blade Ops. I am part of their uh affiliate program. And uh I have been um using them to um check out some uh, U.S. made uh, folders. And this week, uh, I have in a ZT and a ProTech. So as part of uh, Blade Ops uh, affiliate program, uh, basically they let me uh, check out knives, um, I the knives that I request to check out, and then I uh, give them a once-over, uh, review them, uh, let them let you guys know what I think and uh, I have an affiliate link with them meaning the links that you'll see for the products in their the videos uh, if you click on that link uh, that brings you to blade ops and you purchase either the knife that uh, it brings you to or anything while you're there I get a little uh, commission off of that uh, a little taste of the action as it were and uh, it helps uh, support the channel so uh, for those of you that have, I highly appreciate it. Um, uh, it, uh, again, means a lot. So, yeah, uh, let's get into these. Um, don't have a lot of experience with either or. Uh, I have had, uh, I have a couple of ProTech uh, button locks, the Mordax and the Malibu. I've handled a couple, but uh, really never spent much time with them. Uh, let's check out the, uh, the ProTech first. So... Uh, this is uh, an automatic knife, so a uh, very uh, typical Protex uh, packaging here, same as all the other ones. I like their packaging. Um, yep, very uh, identical to, um, I gotta assume that this is how all their knives come uh, in this uh, box here uh, with the uh, warranty information. It's probably got the use and care uh, all through here. Uh, again, made in the United States. But this is, uh, if it didn't say on the box, yeah, this is the ProTech uh, TR5, the Tactical Response uh, 5. Again, an automatic knife. Um, never handled uh, one of their uh, bigger size folders. So uh, I was warned that this is a pretty strong uh, detent on here. Pretty uh, strong, uh, kicks like a mule. Um, so, uh, save that packaging, because I do send these back. These are, these knives are not for me to keep. I don't uh, hard use them. Uh, not that I'm a real hard user of my shit anyway. I don't take them apart or anything. And, um, it's really just for me to get some good first impressions, get a feel in the hand and whatnot. But, uh, yeah. So, um, gotta say, right off the bat, uh, feels very similar to the... Um, uh, these are aluminum uh, scales on here, uh, very similar to the Mordax and the uh, um, uh, Malibu that I have. Nice, nice deep carry uh, loop over pocket clip for sure. I'm already really digging the uh, fit and finish on this. I like the feel of this knife. 
and uh, looks like it's got a thumb stud and the uh, like I said it's an automatic uh, button uh, for deployment uh, let's just do that now hmm nothing happens is it mean am I just supposed to ah okay it's an automatic uh, so you have to give it a uh, flick first and then you push the button to uh, close it that's the uh, I thought that it was an auto uh, push button auto it's not it's thumb stud that is uh, pretty uh, pretty stiff on that not too stiff um, I guess it's stiff enough to where it's not going to accidentally deploy but yes that kicks and then uh, button got a little stick to it not much um, all the uh, buttons that I've had from uh, Protec uh, kind of stick initially, and you need to just kind of um, uh, wear them in. But I don't know if that's uh, coming through. Can you hear it when I, after I deploy it, you hear a little, you hear that? So, um, but then it, 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 it goes away. It's just after the deployment on there that it uh, you got uh, the initial, it's, it's stiff to push in, but then... Then it's gone. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so I don't know the blade length on this, but it is a nice uh, stone washed, uh, bead blasted uh, finish on there. Uh, drop point uh, S thirty five VN on the blade steel. Um, uh, you got a nice uh, backspacer here uh, with a spot uh, for a lanyard should you want one. Again, a, a nice deep carry uh, pocket clip. Very good uh, retention on there. I like Protex pocket clips. In fact, I have some uh, Protex pocket clips that I've purchased from them and put on other knives. Uh, I think they're uh, really done really well. But um, it says it's the Lurch uh, Spring Assisted. I'm not going to go into, again, too much specs on here uh, right now. But um, this is just a first impression slash uh, um, unboxing. Sliced myself on that blade. Did not uh, break the skin, but definitely uh, it's a slicey blade. Uh, that's for dang certain. Um, I don't have... You know, oh, I do have some paper right here. Uh, this is actually thin uh, paper, so let's see how it... Hmm. There we go. Uh, pretty slicey, I gotta say. Uh, this is probably just the paper more than anything. Um, if I use, like, uh, slicing through a package here, pierce, and it just glides through it. So, um, yeah, nice, uh, spring-assisted opening, uh, knife here. Um, wanted to do a quick price check. Uh, these are 260 bucks. So, definitely a spendy knife. But I got to say, uh, if you're going to spend 260 bucks on a knife, um, this thing is built like a uh, tank. Um, and I like this knife. This is nice. If I was going to have a, I can already tell you, uh, if I was going to have a Protec uh, Spring Assisted Auto, uh, whatever these are called, um, I'm liking this. So uh, more to come on that. And now, um, let's take a look at uh, this ZT. Uh, this is the ZT0990. I know that this is based on, I believe, an older model, um, the 0999. Uh, I didn't do a lot of research on this. I just saw uh, this model uh, when I was perusing knives to check out. And um, it, it drew it drew my eye. So uh, let's see here. In the box, it comes with uh, ZT paperwork. I've never bought a uh, brand new ZT. I have uh, I've had a couple others. They didn't come with pouches either, and this didn't come with a pouch. So I don't know if that's a normal thing for uh, a ZT to not have pouches. But um, here we go. Wow, this is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. I said this in a, a video the other day. You know, you read specs, um, and then regardless, uh, you kind of, uh, you know, have 
I, I form a picture in my mind on what these are going to be like. And then um, they always end up being a little bit smaller. But uh, this thing is very, very interesting here. Um, uh, and that's kind of what drew my attention. Um, it's I, I don't remember who the designer is on this. Um, but uh, yeah, very... Very interesting design, right? So this is, um, uh, sorry, I had to sneeze there. Then I had a little bit of a coughing fit, but, uh, this is like very skeletonized design. It's kind of Isham ish, right? Um, probably not. That's just, you know, aesthetically, uh, taking a look at it. That's what I'm seeing right off the bat. Uh, you got carbon fiber on the handle scales with the steel, uh, inlay. A uh, nice uh, deep carry pocket clip. It appears to be reversible. Looks like you can reverse uh, that pocket clip there. Um, uh, nice uh, full length backspacer. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's give this a. Uh, can you middle finger flick this? Let's see. You can. Okay. Look at that blade on there. Um, I am digging that. Uh, mail lady is here. Yay. Uh, more mail. Um, yeah, uh, I'm digging that blade on there. Uh, uh, CPM 20 CV again, having, uh, I don't know what the hell is going on with the, um, my, my autofocus as of late, but it does say the uh, model number, uh, Kai USA on it, uh, actually built here in the Pacific Northwest, uh, down in Oregon. Not too south of me, um, but uh, 20 CV on the uh, blade steel. Um, yeah, that's a uh, that's a nice looking knife. I gotta say, uh, inset uh, liner lock uh, there. Um, let's uh, check the uh, drop. I don't think that this is supposed to be really a shake shutty knife, but um, I think the detent is definitely dialed in more for this to be a uh, back uh, flipper. Um, pretty protrusive back flipper, I gotta say. Um, but, uh, definitely, uh, snappy on the, uh, detent. Can I fail it? I can. But if you, you know, light switch it there, it, it definitely opens. Um, ergos are, you know, your, this is not a choil, but it kind of gives you this, uh, you know, back here, uh, I guess, let me say, um, this is not comfortable for me at all. Um this uh flipper tab there is a little pokey into my uh, hand there and then i definitely feel the pocket clip i think my hand is really too big for this uh in back here and then um that little thumb that little jimped thumb ramp there doesn't really do anything um and then i feel the uh, liner lock so I'll, i gotta say in the standard grip here this is not comfortable at all but if I, I naturally always want to choke up on a knife. If I move into this flat here and have my thumb on the, uh, uh, this, uh, you know, kind of ramp here, that's comfortable. All those hot spots instantly go away. So, uh, in a choked up grip, uh, no problem whatsoever. Um, but, uh, back here in a normal, normal grip, I just got two big of hands and that is not comfortable. I, I wouldn't say that the ergos for me or anywhere close to being good. Again, all that changes when I go up here. So um, that's that's very interesting. Um, again, uh, easy access to the uh, liner. And um, yeah, action is decent on this. Not great, but decent. Um, very, uh, very interesting though. I like, uh, so far, I've had, I got a couple uh, I've handled a couple of ZTs carbon fiber uh, models. Um, I have my 0850, which is one of my favorite knives. Uh, that's got blue uh, carbon fiber on it, and it's done the same way. I like that. Um, again, uh, good pocket clip. Uh, very uh, similar to the uh, ProTech, really. Um, I got to say, uh, the, the um, pocket clip seems good. I like the aesthetics of this knife. Um for sure, uh, um, the action, it probably just needs some oil, uh, really. A little oil on the uh, detent uh, ball uh, would be fine. I don't know if these are, if this is running on, 
Yeah, it, it appears to be running on bearings. My camera's not going to pick it up, but yeah. Um, so very interesting uh, model. Yeah, it's already breaking in. It's already gotten better. Um, the detent was not great on the middle finger flick. I can't really get. I was did it initially. So um, that is more really. Can I thumb? Okay, the thumb actually. If I dig in there, so I think they should have extended the blade a little bit, uh, the height of there, and widened that a hole so you, it's a, it was a little more usable. If I get the meat of my, the tip of my finger in there, then it's actually it's flying out really well. Um, once I figure out how to actually use it, um, but yeah, uh, not a real usable uh, thumb. Uh, or slot for deployment, but not bad. I'll spend a couple days with it and uh, decide uh, what I really think of it. So, um, yeah, I got to say uh, two very interesting uh, knives uh, to check out uh, this week, spend some time with, and I'll do some follow-up videos like I have been. Uh, this is my third uh, go-around with ordering uh, knives uh, to check out from them do these unboxings and then i will do uh, one, uh standalone videos on them but uh yeah shout out to uh blade ops uh for sure um they've been an awesome awesome company to uh work with uh, i got nothing but good things to say about them so far and uh you know shout out to andy um if you see this appreciate your brother um and uh yeah that's all i got for now folks uh let me know what you think and until the next one I bid you mofos a deuces.